there. In the third game, she converted her first breakpoint chance to make it two games to one. Puig stuck in there and showed her gold medal Olympic credentials with some great crunching shots. However, the Belarusians' first serve percentage of 90% proved to be crucial in the opening set. She sealed it with another break, 6-2. The pair shared the opening games in the second set before Puig produced an unforced error to give Azarenka another 2-1 lead. Puig tried to stay in the contest, the pair producing some great rallies on a warm day at Stoke Park, but Azarenka was always out in front. She sealed the second and decisive set thanks again to her first serve, winning it as well. Azarenka sealed... Azarenka... Le Azarenka sealed the second and decisive set once again thanks to her first serve. Final score, 6-2, 6-2. The final match on day two at the Voodle saw Britain's Marcus Willis take on world number 61, Malik Jaziri. After a fairly even start, it was the Tunisian who got the first break of the match, forcing Willis into an unforced error. From this point, Jaziri took full control and he claimed the opening set 6-4. Willis looked to respond, his powerful serve keeping him in the match, and he was rewarded when he snatched the second set breaker. The match tiebreak... The match breaker was nip and tuck, with Willis hanging in there with some superb backhands. However, with 767 places between them in the rankings, Jaziri's class eventually shone through as he battled to victory. He held his own serve to win the match in the end, 10-6 in that deciding breaker.
Well, hello and welcome back to our coverage of day three here at the Boodles. And oh, I know, what is that in the background? Clouds. We haven't seen any of those for the past couple of days. However, a few have crept into the skyline today. And as a consequence, we're in a little bit of shade somewhat. Um, the crowds are gathering in anticipation of our second match of the day. Alexander Zverev making his bow here at the tournament. Sasha Zverev, as he's better known, up against Pablo Carreno Busta of Spain. Second match of our four of the day, Victoria Azarenka looked incredibly impressive in our opening match today. Coming through in straight sets against Monica Puig. We'll have Fabio Fonini up against Albert Ramos Venolas in our third match of the day. And then Taylor Fritz, who was really impressive when he played against Juan Martin Del Potro yesterday, takes on Stefanos Tsitsipas, who also caused a few problems for Grigor Dimitrov on day one, two of the young guns in the men's Senate world, who will be entertaining us in our final match of today. It's like a coffee cup there in the front row. A dearth of champagne currently out of the stands. Plenty of pims on the show, though. And this crowd so far have been royally entertained the second match only, the second women's match ever at the Boodles in its 17th year history. The opening one taking place between Azarenka and Petkovic on the opening day. And our second one saw Victoria Azarenka returned to form as she dismantled Puig 6-2, 6-2. So Pablo Carreno Busta is first out onto court and then Sasha Zverev swap follows him. Fresh off the back of his most successful Grand Slam to date. Zverev makes his way to the chair. One metre 98 tall. To number three in the world at present, Sasha Zverev. 
As our introduction to these two continues out on court. Really interesting to see just how Pablo Gerardo Busta survives on the grass. Obviously, a player who prefers to play his tennis on the clay courts. Career high at ranking of number 10. He's currently ranked at number 12, so certainly will possess a challenge for Sasha Zverev. Sasha Zverev, who undoubtedly should be able to succeed on the grass, but so far just hasn't enjoyed his transition onto the grass courts, losing to the eventual champion in Halle, Borna Cioric, in the first round at the Jerry Weber Open in Halle in Germany last week in straight sets. Cioric, though, defeating Roger Federer in the final, so it's not as though he was uh, out of place in causing problems to Sasha Zverev. However, Zverev had never beaten a player ranked in the top 50 at a Grand Slam before Roland Garros this year. Defeated Demir Jumo, the number 29, Karen Kachanov, the number 38, before losing to Dominic Thiem in the end in the quarterfinals. Here's the toss. All right. So this is heads, this is tails, heads and tails. That's so head. heads. Tails it is? No, it's heads, buddy. It is that's tails. Heads. That's heads. There's a head on it. <laughs> that's heads. I receive. Okay. You want to receive? They give me 30 seconds to... Yeah. That is actually, look. look I know, I know, look. I know what they mean. This is... This is heads? Yeah. And it actually says tails on... No, it doesn't, but it's, this is tails. This is ah, heads. that's the new points, eh? Yeah. Well, just wanting a little bit of clarification on what was a head and what was a tail on the coin there, Sasha Zverev. He's really been coming into his own in, in the last 12 months as far as his character is concerned. He had a, a wonderful relationship with one of the British journalists at the French Open recently. One of the journalists who hailed from Yorkshire, Sasha Zverev, very enamoured with the Yorkshire accent when he was being questioned by him in those press conferences. As a consequence, a little bit of a surprise perhaps to not see him go to Ilkley for the tennis tournament that took place in Yorkshire just last week. However, I suppose when you're invited to play in Halle at the Jerry Weber Open and one of the potential opponents is Roger Federer, you're more likely to head over there. Slightly delayed arrival on court for this knockup for Pablo Carino Busa because just getting his racket sorted and away they go. So the current world number three, at 20 years of age, still in the next gen bracket but doesn't want to be considered as such. He thinks as the world number three he deserves a little more respect and he'll certainly earn that if he puts together some decent runs at slams but up until Roland Garros and not beating a player inside the top 50 in a Grand Slam tournament well there's plenty more work to be done but this exciting young talent from Germany is certainly a player that we are going to watch for the next decade at least knocked out in the third round of the Australian Open earlier this year by Hyung Chung in a fascinating five set affair then won both of his matches in the first round of the Davis Cup up against Alex Demina and Nick Kyrgios. Went on to Rotterdam, knocked out in the second round by Andrea Seppi, semi-finalist in Acapulco, defeated by Juan Martí del Potro. And then went through to the final in Miami. And one of the players he beats en route to that final was Pablo Carrero Busta. 7-6, 6-2 the score in the semis and he lost to John Isner defeated Nick Kyrgios, David Ferrer and Borna Cioric en route there then came up against Spain in the quarterfinals of the Davis Cup won against David Ferrer lost against Rafa Nadal in straight sets went to Monte Carlo made the semi-finals before losing to Kei Nishikori then won the finals of the tournament in Munich where he defeated Philipp Kulschreiber finalist in Madrid, defeating Dominic Team, finalist in Rome, losing to Rafa Nadal, went into Roland Garros with so much promise, but in the end, slightly disappointed with that quarter-final exit against a player he had beated, beaten before Dominic Team. Paula Choric, the man who beat him at the Jerry Weber Open. Pablo Carreno Busta, 
currently ranked at number 12 in the world. The player who made it through into the third round of Roland Garros. He lost to one of the surprises of the tournament, a man who made it through to the semi-finals in the end, of course, Marco Cecchinato of Italy. He was ranked number 11 at Roland Garros. Dropped down to number 12, but Pablo Carreno Busta is a, a player who certainly has plenty of pedigree. Professional on the tour since 2009. His win loss ratio so far this year 20 wins to 12 losses. He has three titles to his name. And a player who, although he prefers the clay courts, is one of the Probably one of the Three few minutes. Spanish players who actually does hold his own on the grass courts, even though they're not his favourites. Sitting in the chair, Abhishek Mokaji will be the man presiding over this one. As mentioned, just the one meeting between these two so far throughout their time on tour that came this year in Miami a semi-final appearance where Alexander Zverev won 7-6 7-4 in the breaker 6-2 the breeze has been relatively regular here at Stoke Park today certainly offering a little bit of respite from the heat clouds in the sky as well though which preventing a little bit of the sunshine getting through. As a consequence, we've had no increase in temperature since the start of the day, 21 degrees centigrade, and it doesn't look as though it's going to reach the heights that we've seen over the last few days where it's bumped up to around 28. Two minutes. Lots of chatter amongst the crowd as I was wandering through them a little earlier about going to Wimbledon, the excitement of the preparation for Wimbledon and just exactly whereabouts players are in relation to their preparation for the Grand Slam that takes place at the All England Club starting next Monday. Will Alexander Zverev be able to have his best run in a grand slam his grass court preparation not off to the ideal start but now he has the opportunity to get some useful game time under his belt and there are plenty of those present here by the young German Alexander Zverev of course nicknamed Sasha just because of the fact that in Russia which is where his father hails from and mother that uh, anyone who's called Alexander is automatically nicknamed Sasha that's the, the simple reason for it just how much of a challenge is Pablo Carreno Busta going to pose for Alexander Zverev here this afternoon well, we will find out imminently. Quickly, please. So, all set and ready to go. It's going to be Pablo Carreno Busta to serve first. Ready. Play. Oh. 
Oh, delightfully done, and just the class of Zverev immediately Love apparent 15. for us here. Stealing into the net, playing a really fine volley. Love 30. Not the start that Karina Vusta wanted at all on serve here. There's not enough purchase on that serve to really create too many problems. Well played. 15 30. That's a poor miss and a break point straight away 40, for 40. Sasha Zverev. Blazed wide. That sat up for a good chance for yes. Sasha Zverev. The better shot would have been down the line. So we go to Juice. Oh. Horrible miss it. All of that after a terrible drop shot from Pablo Carreno Busta. Still, it's the Spaniard who has game point. Sasha Zverev practicing on the Wimbledon practice course Just. yesterday. Getting used to the grass conditions. Choose number two. A serve to bring up a second game point. Advantage, Karina Busta. Choose number three. Actually, too early for that. Not a good first serve. Pushing very about wide. Advantage, Karina Busta. Third game point. Oh. 
Good pass. Not at his most comfortable in at the Just net, Karina Vusta. But he had to come in behind that shot. Well played. Well, it took him quite a time to close it out, but in the end, Pablo Carina Busta survives a breakpoint chance to Sasha Zverev and seals his opening service game. Alexander's verdict. himself way too open there wasn't going to be able to control it love 15 Fifteen on. A little sloppy still from Sasha Zverev in the early exchanges 30. here. up for him there aren't going to be too many opportunities for Pablo Carreno Busta he's got to try and take that sort of chance at least makes her a play Forty thirty. ace for game point in notches up the winner seals the game one, one game, game apiece is finding return of serve relatively simple. That was a very well measured forehand Love just 30. inside the baseline. He was at Love 30 in the last 
Service game from Karina Busta. Didn't press home the advantage, though. Help! Just wide. 15 30. First double, and it's a double break point on this Cadena Booster service game. None from two so far on breakpoint chances for Zverev. Oh. You can make it none from three. Deuce. And now, game point. Advantage, Karina Busta. As with so many performances you see from Sasha Zverev, you just feel if he focused, put his mind to it, he would be able to break at any time he really wants. Great point. <laughs> Fantastic anticipation there. Karina Busta, all of his weight to push yes. across to the forehand side. This reverse backhand was a much tougher shot. Made it look so simple. Juice for the second time. Well, an interesting approach. More speculative than anything else. Passed with ease. Advantage, Karina Busta. Second time he's flicked one of those off the frame beyond the baseline. Needed to find the pass, and even though Karina Busta could anticipate which way he was going, couldn't control the volley. And we are back to juice. Yes. For a third time. For the fourth time, in fact. I do beg his pardon. And that's the second game in a row that it's gone over three.
watched. Pedro Carreno Busta has struggled at the moment on serve to find any authority. Still has managed to hold both of his opening service games. He leads 2 1. Take your seats quickly, please. Time. Time called. Well, for what we've seen so far, even though Lokarino Busta managed to get a couple of points off the Sasha Zverev serve, it was a very convincing service game from the young German, whereas Pablo Lokarino Busta has really had to work hard to hold serve on the two occasions that he's been at the service line so far however it is still on serve in the early exchanges here thank you and it is one two with Zverev serving Third time now. Love 15. <laughs> 15 all. And the immediate riposte. Sloppy so far from Zverev. He's smiling, he's enjoying himself, but 50, the stakes are higher. Just too casual. Ace down the tee. Second ace. Turn lands into it, and Carreno Busta earns himself his first breakpoint chance. 40, 40. Good body serve. Deuce. Advantage Ace number three. And Zverev. So Zverev once again. Two holds. games off. This time he did have to stave off a break point chance for his opponent, Pablo Carreno Busta. It's two games apiece.
Love 15. Into that hitting zone, whenever he gets it on the forehand side, Zverev really does dial up the heat. <laughs> Love 30 now. Love 30. <laughs> Push wide, and it is triple break point. Love 40. Fifteen forty. That was a good serve. I still got a few left, huh? I don't think that Pablo Garina Busto is particularly enjoying the the repartee from the other end of the court. That's wide, and Sosuzvera yes, yes. has the opening break. Leads by three games to two. Zverev leads three games to two. Time. <laughs> Fifty love. Case number four for Sasha Zverev to start up his third service game. Court after just a couple of days in these dry conditions, very apparent, and as a consequence, that ball diving into the the footmarks. Thirty fifteen. Oh, that's a nice point. Proper grass court point from Sasha Zverev. Good serve. Steals into 40, the net. 50. Plays a really good volley. Contact made below the level of the net as well, making it extra special.
the judgment from Karina Busta. Incredible get from Zverev. 40 30. on that occasion sir of just admiring the serve yes big serve though. I want that sweater. immediately gets him game point back again Back to juice once more. up another break point chance there's a break back chance for Karina Wooster Karina Busta breaks back. Then Karina Busta. Three gets all. Fifteen love. could have easily found the empty part of the court there and won a point he had no right to. 15 all. He's trying to whip it back cross court though. Thirty fifteen. Just long. Thirty on. Just too much on that occasion. That's what he's capable of. 30 40. Poor conversion rate at present for Sasha Zverev. Just one from five on break point chances.
This one he does convert though. And Zverev you both, makes please. It three breaks on the bounce, and he leads by four Zverev games to three. Four games to three. time. Will Greenwood in the crowd taking a selfie for someone to have on their uh, on their phone I presume. Bit of a bizarre concept that one. leading four games to three new balls for him to serve here and well if he take his last service game too seriously I wonder if he'll be a little more concentrated looks as though he will be 15 love Thirty love Ace number five The joviality seems to have disappeared. Well, there have been a number of misses from Sasha Zverev. We've counted about six now in this match. Is that forehand away? Two game points to confirm the break. 40 15. Third double from Sasha Zverev. Hit his last two on the bounce. Still a wonderful lack of consistency. From Zverev. Can I never wish I can't quite I pull it back in? So another game point for Sasha Zverev, his third of this match in this game. Zverev confirms the break this time. Leads by 
Five games so to three. Five games to three. It's really well played. Fifteen love. Not a great miss. Engineered a way back into the point after a, an left. average return of serve. Thirty fifteen. Forty thirty. Game point. So it's three double faults per player now. And as a consequence, there could be a chance here for Zverev to seal the first set. Advantage, Karina Busta. Game, Karina Busta. Karina Busta ensures that Sasha Zverev will at least have to serve this out. German has the chance to do that. Zara leads five games to four.
time. Serving for the mat, serving for the set, I beg your pardon. Getting a little ahead of myself. Fifteen love. Just wide. Sasha is definitely looking for an over rule from the chair. Couldn't really tell from that angle. 15 on. Thirty fifteen. Solid serving, it's just been very inconsistent. Ow. Spraying another forehand wide. Thirty off. Set point for Sasha Zverev. Ah. Game and first set. So an ace, Zverev. number six of the first set for Sasha Zverev to seal it. Six games to four. Well, he's been very inconsistent, but at the same time. A couple of breaks of his opponent's serve, just the one break of his. He takes the opening set, 6-4. That's from that opening set. Six aces to just the one in Zero's favour. Three double faults apiece, though. A good first serve percentage in the main from Sasha Zero, but he'd be disappointed to be winning just 20 out of 28 points and two from 10 on his second serve. Very poor indeed. Conversion point on the break points. Well, he missed out in his first four. He's converted the last two, though. Pablo Carrera Busta, well, he just needs to up the level and hope that Zverev remains inconsistent. And if that's the case, he has a chance of finding a way back into the match. A very relaxed atmosphere in the crowd at the moment. Everyone enjoying their champagne. Time. And enjoying some fine tennis as well here at the Beatles 2018. Pablo Carrera Busta to serve at the start of set number two. Second set. Pablo Carrera Busta to serve. Oh, it was good court coverage. However, it's very unable to direct it back love. into play.
What till up? Teltra love service game then for Pablo Carina Busta to open up. Set number two. Yeah, and he does so with an ace, his second of the match. First game, second set. to see more of this from Zverev in this set. Some more consistency going after it, trying to get in behind the serve. If he's going to succeed at Wimbledon, he needs to be on top of his game. That goes long. So no points won against serve so far in this second set. Really good return of serve from Karina Wusta. Once again, that second serve falling prey. 13 15. That was a fine return as well, and good disguise from the forehand. Karina Wusta back to 30 all. Thirty on. Finds the first serve when he needs 40, it. 30. Far too many points have been won on the Zverev serve, though. No need to go so close to the line. Deuce. Trying to paint those lines down at the bottom corner. Absolutely no need to. It would have been a very frustrating first few minutes of this second set that have been watched so far by Alexander Zero Senior. Nice skill. Lovely skill. Karina Busta earns himself a break point in the opening service game for Sasha Zverev in set two. Advantage, Karina Busta. Juice. 
than him, right? Advantage Zverev. Game point to Sasha Zverev now. Game Zverev. One game all. Fifteen love. Oh, poor judgment in the end. Just lands inside the baseline. Fifteen all. Shot. Great, great shot, and Pablo Carreño Busta salutes the crowd and they'll respond. Thirty fifteen. Fully deserving of all the applause he received there. Fifteen. Good return to serve. Fourteen thirteen. Rather exposed there for his lack of prowess at the net. Should be an easy put away, and is back to Juice. Juice. Good attacking play. Advantage, Karina Busta. Game, Karina Busta. Karina Busta manages to hold. Two games to one on serve. Karina Busta leads two. two games to one.
time. Second serve for Zverev. Great return of serve. We've seen a few of those. Can he make advantage? Love 15. Better. 15 all. Thirty fifteen. Great return. That second serve. Damn. Taken to the cleanest Sergio. by Cardeno Booster. Forty thirty. First serve though. No one untouchable. And another race. Um Sanchez Verev gives him game point. It's not held on this occasion. Well played. <laughs> Glimpses of his talent. Advantage Zverev. It is so raw still, even though he's up to number three in the world. Consistency lacking. And Jennifer. Two games apiece. Two games all. Fifteen love. Thirty 
So what's your love? Good reach on the volley. Got a chance for a love service game. Beautifully done. Totally yeah. wrong footage. Sasha Zverev. Love hold for Pablo Carino Busta. He leads 3 2 in the second. Carino Busta leads 3 game to 2. Definitely growing into the match. Canada will stop. Time. Selfie there. And, well, another one wanted. Pablo Corina Busta being kept waiting by the settings. Start to work in a minute. We're going to get a few around the, the court as well. Might come back with the phone. Unfortunately, there aren't any other games to take place today, so uh, Pablo Galeno Busta, as a consequence, decides that he's going to take a champagne break. Well, fair play to him. Everyone wants to make their way over to the commentary position. Well, he's feeling a little left out, but now he has some groupies of his own. Time. <laughs> Alexander Zverev trying to get away with a serve there. Not in too much seriousness, though. The resumption. See if Zverev get the opening point. Great shot. 
round of That's selfies enough. seems to have done the concentration. The world of good for Sasha Zverev at the moment. Take the ball, thank you. That was cruel. Wanted to keep the rally going. Forty love. Great get there. Another comfy volley. Chance for a, a love service game. Forty fifteen. So that love service game has gone 40, since 30. a little exchange with the crowd. Love back to Jews. Just on the line that time. It was very close, very nearly a break point chance for Kalina Wooster. Yeah, it does have another hold. Still on serve then in this all. second set. Zverev leads by a set to love. It's 3 3 in the second. Service. <laughs> love. Forty love. Thirty love. Karina Pusta has won points on his serve in this set far more comfortably than he did in the previous one. Forty love. 
40 love. 40 love and a chance for a love service game. service game like he did in the first 14, game 15. of the set but a couple of chances here Forty thirty. make a bit of a meal of it now though Simple rally. So from 40 love to juice and pressure on Pablo Carreno Busta. Just able to turn it on when he needs at the moment. And Sasha Zverev comes from love 40 down in this game Advantage to break it. point up. Accelerates the racket speed into the ball. Needed a good volley. It was a fantastic get from Karina Busta down in the far forehand corner. But Sasha Zverev well, picks up the opening break three. of the second set. And from 40 love, that's quite a turnaround. Five points on the bounce. Sasha Zverev leads 4 3. Fifteen love. Left us. Left for service. Good change up again. So that's it up. Hot 
করছিলাম Love service game to confirm the break and Sasha Zverev moved one game away from securing victory here. Zverev leads five games to three. Fifteen love. So that's it, love. That's going to go wide. Thirty fifteen. No, he does very well to wrong foot, Sasha Zverev. A bit more interaction with the crowd. Forty thirty. Finds the pass back to Juice. It's another great shot, and Zverev brings up match point as a consequence. Advantage Zverev. Just a bit tight and hunched yes. over that backhand. Flies long. Oh. That's wide as well. So, Karina Busta. Advantage, Karina Busta. And the opportunity here to at least ensure that Zverev has to serve it out. Double brings Vera back into the game.
Advantage, Colonel Booster. Colonel Booster. With another game point. Judgment. Game Karina Busta. Karina Busta hangs on by his fingernails. Still in the match. Only just. Such as Zverev will serve for it when they come Zverev back. Zverev leads five games to four. Time. So it's just very then to put a seal on victory. Fifteen love. Ramps it up with a nice firm first serve. Consistently has found his first serve when he's needed to, which will be something that he'll take away from this performance. Fifteen love. Five double faults day from Sasha Zverev is not such a pleasing statistic that he'll look back on. <laughs> Lovely shot. <laughs> well, if he can piece together some okay, consistency, 50. he has the game to do very well at Wimbledon well next week. Well behind. And potentially the week after too. We've seen flashes of what he's capable of this afternoon. 40, that drifts long, so it's two match points to Sasha Zverev. Finishes with a fantastic backhand. In the end, six four, six four. A regulation victory for Sasha Zverev, striking when he needed to, never playing quite above his average level here. Six four, six four. The final score. We kept the crowd entertained, and well, as I said, if he can find some consistency. There is no doubt he can go a long way. Yeah, was good. It's really nice the champa here. And uh, well, uh, Sasa was taking pictures with the people, so I need to do something, you know. Yeah, you both basically weren't concentrating on the game whatsoever. No, we we play we play good. I, it was very funny play here, and well, it's a good practice for women. Absolutely. And is this the the best crowd that you ever played in front of? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It's the first time that the, that the round gives me champagne, so it's, it's the best.
I mean, you just can't beat it, can you? You are number 12 in the world rankings, three ATP World Tour titles to your name, which is fantastic. Uh, you're looking forward to Wimbledon. You're walking off. Are you coming back? Just tell us how excited... <laughs> Most people do actually walk off. I called uh, Taylor Fritz, Taylor Swift the other day, and he didn't speak to me anymore. And he now currently calls me Dave. So anyway, Wimbledon, SW19, how excited are you about next week? I'm very excited to win my first match on grass. So, you know, uh, I know that uh, it's not my best surface, but I practice hard to, to try to be competitive also in this surface. Thank you very much. We've loved having you. And uh, hopefully you're around for another couple of days before you head to Wimbledon. Sasha, you, you're definitely a crowd favorite. You, you like this crowd, you've had a lot of selfies. Don't forget, hashtag the boodles if you're putting it on social media. I know some of you should be at work, so maybe don't do that. How has it been today? Enjoyed yourself? Yeah, very much so. I always enjoy coming back here, uh, especially this, this event is organized by, by my manager, Patricio. So he's doing an unbelievable job uh, for, for the past, you know, multiple, multiple years. It's, it's always a pleasure to come back here. That's why so many great players are coming back here. You know, we had Andy Murray here. We had Noah Djokovic here. Um, other, other great champions, Rafa Nadal. So, um, you know, this is, this is a great preparation for Wimbledon. You've won many titles on tour, five times last year. You've won a couple of titles already this year in Madrid and Munich. How excited are you about Wimbledon? I know your best result so far at Wimbledon has been reaching the fourth round, but we reckon you can go one better, two better, three better maybe. You feeling on good form? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately I was a little bit injured in, uh, after Paris, so I didn't get a lot of practice, but, um, you know, I, I feel good now. Uh, this match helped me a lot. Pablo gave me a lot of confidence, so thanks a lot to him. Um, <laughs> Yeah. I hope I'll get a lot of social media followers after all the selfies I took. That's going to help my confidence as well. Um, that dog looks amazing, by the way. I'll take that with me as well. That is the, the Royal Irish mascot. We'll speak about him in just a moment. He's actually got a job and a title as well, which is, which is marvellous. He's a mascot for the Oppo Foundation, who we're about to go over and uh, have a photo shoot with. You've got a dog. He travels with you. What's his name and is he here? He is here, he's with my mom somewhere, probably walking around the golf course because he can't be bothered to watch tennis anymore. Uh, What's his name? His name, oh, there, there he is, look. Who is he? <laughs> I mean, my, my mom lifts him up like, a, like he's the Lion King or something like that, it's not. Um, he actually is called Little Lion. It's in Russian though, he's called Lovik, so, I mean. Lovick, we love you. Gorgeous. He's your lucky mascot. And uh, Misha, your brother, just want to mention him because obviously he's a fantastic tennis player as well. Has he recently got married? He's recently got married. Uh, he has his first child on the way, which is about, you know, six weeks away. So, um, you know, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening in his life outside the court. So we're all very happy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not married yet, so just, just throwing it out there. Um, <laughs> Available for selection, ladies and gents. And apparently it gets very lonely on tour. It does get very lonely on tour, that's why we keep coming back here, so... What do you think, girls? I, I mentioned Misha because he's one of our favourites as well. We've seen him in years gone by. Ladies and gents, they've been absolutely brilliant. Put your hands together for Sasha Zverev and also for Pablo Carreña Busta. Gentlemen, I would quite like to lead you over uh, to our wonderful servicemen and women stewards. They're working with the Oppo Foundation, a charity providing support to military personnel who have left or are about to leave the services. No matter how long ago somebody left military service, they are still eligible for support through the Oppo Foundation. And support also extends to the families and dependents of ex-military personnel. So there are the statistics from that match between Sasha Zverev and Pablo Carreño Busta. Eight aces in the end for Zverev, just a couple in that second set. Five double faults, something that he really wants to improve upon before he gets to Wimbledon. But uh, first service accuracy was good, and he also managed to convert three out of eight break points. It was regulation as far as Sasha Zverev was concerned. Let's see whether he can continue that sort of form as he travels across to Wimbledon as the number three in the world.